Hello, my name is Phil Spencer and I'm here to talk to you about how to deliver a great defect-free surface when carrying out reinstatements to ironworks. The emphasis in today's world is on keeping road networks and footways open and back to how it should be because it has an impact on safety, productivity, efficiency and the general well-being of society. The products we're going to be looking at are the Hardmaster W620 and the 6 21 polymer modified mortars for armworks and frames. The Perfix L271 MMA based system used for small surface repair works. And lastly, the Ultra Crack L275, a flexible jointing filler used between existing and new substrates. The W620 and the W621 Hardmaster mortar systems. This is an environmentally friendly alternative to resin based materials specifically formulated for bedding and backfilling around access covers in the harshest of environments. These mortars have superior compressive tensile and flexural strength making it ideal for high intense wheel track locations. They conform to a HA104-09 and has all the necessary approvals for highways use exceptional performance even in wet conditions and they are non-shrink materials with a minimal workable life of 50 minutes and can be trafficked after just one hour. The L271 is a cold applied MMA based surface dressing repair system giving an outstanding permanent and durable solution is widely used on a highly trafficked location a far superior alternative to cold or hot asphalt. So it's very fast cure with excellent addition, but also offers flexibility with adjoining substrates. Accommodates depths of over 25 mil and down to as thin as five mil. It's highly resistant to impact and maintains slip resistance for road safety. Finally, the L275. Again, it's a cold applied MMA based solution used to prevent water ingress between the existing substrate and the new substrate. It's also a flexible joint filler that accommodates for normal levels of substrate movement. It's a fast curing and can be applied in low temperatures, giving a minimum disruption. And lastly, it is very strong, durable and resistant to impact. Now let's hand over to our expert demonstration team who will run through the steps involved with these applications in more detail. The first step is to mark out a square surrounding the cover. This is the area which is to be reinstated. It is important to make sure that the substrate immediately outside of this square is sound so that the area will not fail or cause the reinstatement to fail. Once marked out, we can then cut along these lines to the full depth, making sure not to cut beyond the end of the line marked as that area is not going to be reinstated. The cutter should have a water injection system to avoid creating airborne dust from the cutting. All the material within the square now needs to be broken out right down to the level of the chamber and debris removed to leave dry, tidy excavation. It is important that the corners are cut out clean for this system. The cover itself should still be bedded on. In this case, the cover is still sitting loose on the mortar so we can lift it straight off and place it out of the way. All the bedding mortar on the surface of the brickwork or chamber needs to be broken off and swept away. The next step of the application is to mix up our bedding mortar. As we are using an HA104 mortar there are specific details in the mixing process. Our Hardmaster W620 and W621 kits come with a liquid act activator to use with the powder. Water cannot be added to this mix at all, otherwise the final strength of the product is compromised. So to start with, we pour the activator into a bucket reserving about 200 milliliters. 
Then we add all the powder at a consistent rate and whilst mixing. This helps us get the right consistency in the mix rather than pouring all the powder straight in, then continue to mix for two to three minutes. Initially the mix may seem too dry, but it's important not to add the rest of the activator until after a couple of minutes, as the mix will wet out for after a while. If the mix is still too dry after a few minutes mixing, then add the rest of the activator. We cannot add extra activator to this mix than the quantity supplied, as this again will compromise the final strength. Once the mix is ready, we need to pre-wet the surface of the chamber to help the mortar adhere to it. Now the mortar is troweled out around the chamber, ready to bed the frame onto. In this application we are reinstating a drainage cover, so we are bedding it slightly below the surface to allow for water to run into it. For a normal cover it needs to be bedded level with the surface. Now that we have the manhole ready to reinstate, a key feature of this system is to allow movement without it resulting in failure. To achieve this we are going to include an expansion joint around the edge of the reinstatement. We use standard expansion joint foam with tear off strip on the top which is measured to the length of each edge and cut into strips. We then glue the strips onto the edge of the square we have cut with the tear off strip flush with the surface. To reinforce this frame to highway standards we are now going to use the Hardmaster W621 flowable bedding concrete to fully set this frame in place. So we mix up the product using the same process as with the Hardmaster W620. We then pour out this product. We need to make sure it is poured out only from one position, which is the highest corner of the application. The reason for this is so that as the product flows around the frame and underneath it, it pushes out all the air out in one direction and there are no air bubbles under the flange which can cause a failure in the future. We need to pour this flowable concrete until it reaches just over the flange of the frame so it is holding it firmly in place. We now leave this to reach the initial set before backfilling. This should only take 15 minutes. Here we are going to use our Hardmaster W615 to backfill the manhole. The water is pre-measured and poured into the bucket and then we steadily add the powder whilst mixing and continue to mix for two to three minutes until we have a consistent mixture. The flyable backfill is then poured around the manhole to backfill it to a level roughly 40 millimeters below the surface. Now the concrete is left to fully cure which will take about 90 minutes. For the surface layer it is a system we are going to apply Permafix L271. Our MMA surface repair product mixed with 6 to 10 millimeter aggregate which will cure solid and will not settle once cured. To ensure we keep the ironworks clean, we mask the top ring using tape. We're now ready to mix the Permafix L271 MMA reinstatement material. Firstly, we need to freshen up the resin in the container by mixing it up. Once the resin is fully mixed up and refreshed, then we can add the aggregate. Slowly adding the aggregate, mixing in as the aggregate is added and mix until the aggregate is fully coated with resin. Once the aggregate is fully coated with resin, the mix is then ready for us to add the peroxide. Adding the allocated volume of peroxide slowly into the mix and mixing in for a minimum of two minutes. Once this mixing process is complete, the mix is then ready to be poured around the ironworks. Once we've mixed that up, we pour it into the area and trowel out to create our smooth level surface.
After the Permafix L271 has cured, we can remove the tear-off strip from the foam surrounding the reinstatement, which gives us a small joint which we can fill with our UltraCrack L275. It is a flexible joint filler, again to allow for that movement in the road. We mix up the UltraCrack L275 by pouring the resin component into a bucket first and then steadily adding the powder whilst mixing. After mixing for two minutes, we're ready to fill the joint. The joint can be taped out to create neat edges, but this, in this application, we haven't taped the edges. We recommend applying the UltraCrack L275 using a funnel topped hand mold, 40 millimeters wide. We now have our complete reinstatement and the road can be open to traffic once the UltraCrack L275 has cured. Using these approved, tried and tested methods, Mion can guarantee you peace of mind, cost savings and a defect free reinstatement. On our website www.meonuk.com, the data sheets can be found and also a huge wealth of knowledge and resource in the form of case studies, how-to guides and frequently asked questions. If you'd like further information, a sample or a demonstration then please do get in contact. We're personally available to support you with your project. Call us on 02392 200 606 or email mail at meonuk.com. Thank you for watching.